A little more than a year ago, I stood with Mayor Kevin Faulkner and Council Member Todd Gloria to launch Housing First San Diego, the San Diego Housing Commission's first ever homelessness action plan. Housing First San Diego is a bold initiative. It is creating permanent affordable housing with supportive services to help homeless San Diegans rebuild their lives. With strong support from Mayor Kevin Faulkner, the City Council, and our partners, Housing First San Diego has made impressive strides over the past year. Now, I'm really pleased to announce uh, today a first-of-its-kind partnership in the nation between a public housing agency and a four-year university. This unprecedented partnership between San Diego State University and the San Diego Housing Commission will provide rental assistance for up to 100 students who have been homeless or who are at risk of becoming homeless. These students are part of San Diego State University's Guardian Scholars Program, which helps youth who are either aging out of the foster care system, under legal guardianship, wards of the state, or homeless now. Our Housing First San Diego partnership will provide approximately $1 million to the Guardian Scholars Program. And these funds will ensure that vulnerable students can pursue their college education without worrying about how they're going to pay for housing. The San Diego Housing Commission, which administers homeless services on behalf of the city, will provide up to $600,000 annually from federal moving to work funds for this very important and unique program. And San Diego State University will raise approximately $400,000 each year. This assistance will assure that all of the students who participate in this program will be able to have a place to live while they're getting an education. And the program will launch in August of 2016, just in time for start of the next school year next fall. Our partnership will provide safe year-round housing for our Guardian Scholars, exemplary students who are former foster youth. Our goal at San Diego State is to recruit, reward, and recognize high-achieving students. And by any standards, our 92 Guardian Scholars have exceptional achievements. They have overcome enormous challenges. And during their time at San Diego State, they have made the Dean's List, led student government and Greek organizations, and carried out groundbreaking research. More than two dozen Guardian Scholars have studied abroad and three Guardian Scholars have received the CSU Trustees Award for Outstanding Achievement. Guardian Scholar Josh Morse was our student body president and now he's applying to law school. Guardian Scholar Stephanie Rubio graduated in May with a degree in biochemistry. With the support of the Guardian Scholars program, she participated in an internship, studied abroad at Oxford University, and conducted research in a campus lab. This fall, she enrolled in a PhD program in biomedical sciences at UC Santa Cruz. Josh and Stephanie's stories are two of the 52 success stories of Guardian Scholars who have graduated from San Diego State. Our program has an incredible 95% graduation rate. Our Guardian Scholars have persevered against incredible odds and they've asked us for only one thing to support our shared future in San Diego. Our new partnership with the Housing Commission does exactly that and I want to close by thanking Mayor Faulkner, Councilmember Gloria and Rick Gentry for your support of our Guardian Scholars program and our shared future. Thank you. The San Diego Housing Commission is launching a pilot program that will provide federal renting, rental housing vouchers to homeless families who have at least one child enrolled in the Monarch School, which serves K through 12 students who are impacted by homelessness. Families will pay no more than 28.5% of their monthly income toward rent. The federal rental housing vouchers they receive will make up the difference. The first family is expected to move into a home next month. 
and families in this program will also participate in the San Diego Housing Commission's Achievement Academy. The Achievement Academy provides programs that emphasize career planning, job skills, and personal finance education. These programs are provided at no cost to the recipients. The Monarch School, as I think many of us know here in San Diego and are so proud of, is one of the few schools in the nation that exclusively serves homeless youth. To tell us more about this new initiative, I'm happy to introduce Monarch School CEO, Aaron Spiewak. Aaron? Thank you, Mayor Faulkner, for the introduction. I'd first like to take a moment to recognize a few of my Monarch colleagues that are here today. Monarch's Principal Joe Wiseman and our incoming Board Chair Julie Dubik. Thank you to Joe and Julie for your support in making this partnership happen at Monarch School. As you just heard from the Mayor, Monarch School and the San Diego Housing Commission are launching a new and innovative partnership to help our families access rental assistance and workforce training. There's a third key to this program that I want to highlight, and that's the requirement for participants to engage in their students' education. We know firsthand at Monarch that when schools, parents, and the community work together, students excel. We also know that it's through education that we can teach students the skills that they need to avoid becoming homeless adults. Nearly two-thirds of today's homeless adults do not have a high school diploma. While securing housing is just the first step out of homelessness, it's our hope that this initiative's combination of housing assistance, workforce training, case management, and student education will help our families build long-term self-sufficiency. Family homelessness is a rising epidemic, and it will take all of us here to ensure that we give the family, these families the tools that they need to move out of homelessness, and that we also prevent future generations of homeless families. Today we also announced that for the second year in a row, the San Diego Housing Commission will award up to $10 million to create affordable housing with supportive services for homeless San Diegans. This funding is one of the absolute key components of our Housing First San Diego, which awards up to $30 million over three years to create and preserve quality, affordable housing. The San Diego Housing Commission is accepting applications from experienced developers to create affordable housing for homeless individuals, veterans, families, seniors, and young people aging out of the foster care system. The housing units created with these funds will remain affordable for more than 50 years. And to accompany these funds for the second consecutive year, the San Diego Housing Commission will award up to 300 federal renting housing vouchers to address homelessness. The application period will remain open until June 30th or until all funds for the vouchers have been committed. These new initiatives build upon a successful first year of Housing First San Diego. I want to thank and congratulations to Rick Gentry and everyone on the Housing Commission Board and your staff for creating programs that are making a difference, that are working as we all work together and collaborate. And now it's my pleasure to turn it back over to Rick Gentry. Rick? A greatly passionate advocate for homeless San Diegans is here with us today as well. That is Todd Gloria. During his term as president of the City Council, Council Member Gloria was one of the key supporters behind the creation of Housing First San Diego, spearheading the city's commitment toward funding more permanent affordable housing for homeless San Diegans. And his work has expanded beyond the city through Co Councilman Gloria's chairmanship of the countywide Regional Continuum of Care Council for the Homeless. A year ago, Mayor Faulkner, Council Member Gloria, and I took great pride in announcing Housing First San Diego. And now Council Member Gloria is here to outline what we have accomplished in the past 12 months. Mr. Gloria. Thank you, Rick. And ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being here. You know, often we have uh, these kinds of announcements, but rarely is there follow-up on what has been done. So I appreciate the chance to update you on what has happened uh, in, with Housing First San Diego over the last year. You know, when we launched Housing First San Diego a year ago, I said then that it was a great day for the city of San Diego. 
Today is an even better one. The successes that we have achieved in its first year of Housing First San Diego are moving the city forward as we address homelessness. This five point plan uh, has many highlights and accomplishments and let me just tell you about a few. The first is that the San Diego Housing Commission has invested more than $8.2 million in city, state, and federal funds towards two new construction developments. First is the Cypress Apartments, which is located in East Village, and will provide 62 units of housing for homeless individuals. The second project is Talmadge Gateway, which is, of course, in the Talmadge community, uh, and will, it will provide 59 units for homeless seniors. I want to thank the developers of these projects, Affirmed Housing Group, Wakeland Housing and Development Corporation, and the City Heights Community Development Corporation. They are the city's partners in helping us actually create these projects, these new homes. Together, these developments will provide 121 new affordable housing studios uh, with supportive services for homeless San Diegans. You give them a house, but you got to provide the services to keep them housed. This, these projects will do exactly that. Second, in addition to the Housing Commission uh, has awarded 180 new federal rental housing vouchers to assist homeless and formerly homeless San Diegans. These vouchers provide rental assistance at both Cypress Apartments and Talmadge Gateway, as well as the recently dedicated Alpha Square, a new construction project also in East Village uh, that had its grand opening just a few weeks ago. The third component is the housing uh, of Housing First San Diego is the rehabilitation of the 101-year-old Hotel Churchill in downtown San Diego. Construction of the Hotel Churchill uh, began last summer, and when the renovation is complete in June of 2016, the historic Ho Hotel Churchill will provide 72 affordable housing studios for uh, formerly homeless veterans. Uh, 56 of which will be for homeless veterans. Eight will go to youth aging out of the foster care system and eight will be for folks uh, exiting the correction system who need supportive services. The U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development Secretary Julian Castro toured the rehabilitation of the Hotel Churchill with some of us back on October 19th and he stated that the renovation of the Hotel Churchill is an important step toward the national goal of ending homelessness amongst our nation's veterans. Fourth, the Housing Commission has created 24 additional affordable housing units for homeless seniors through the purchase of a 120 unit complex known as the Village North Senior Garden Apartments in Claremont Mesa. You, can, you pick it up what I'm putting down, Talmadge, downtown, East Village, Claremont. We're, we're trying to do this in all corners of our city. This is the fourth component of Housing First San Diego, and the Housing Commission has invested $15 million from its moving to work federal funds to purchase that complex. And last, or perhaps our most significant uh, achievement, the San Diego Housing Commission is one of the first public housing agencies in the nation to commit affordable rental housing that it owns to homeless San Diegans. Isn't that kind of weird? I, I, when people hear that, they don't always get that. One of the first public housing agencies in the nation to commit some of its own units for formerly homeless San Diegans. This past year, we dedicated 25 affordable apartments in this year-round program, and this is for what's called rapid rehousing. Uh, it's a, a rapid rehousing component of Housing First. Rapid rehousing assists individuals and families who become homeless because of recent unexpected life experiences. These are things you'd expect. Domestic violence, a job loss, a medical crisis. Since this program was launched on January 1st, 31 homeless families here in San Diego have moved into affordable housing units owned by the Housing Commission. Five of these families, because of this program, are now financially self-reliant and able to pay rent on their own or moved on to another apartment. One of the families uh, is headed by a woman named Faith. She was a U.S. Army Gulf War veteran and uh, she shared her housing with her teenage son. They were able to get back on their feet after only three months in the program. Faith obtained a job as a registered nurse and has since relocated to Texas, freeing up the housing unit for another homeless San Diego family. This is the kind of early intervention that can, can prevent people from falling into a, a spiral of homelessness and ultimately saves taxpayers a whole lot of money. This is the kind of success that Housing First San Diego is bringing. On behalf of the Congressman, I want to present Rick and the entire San Diego Housing Commission team with a proclamation celebrating the one year anniversary of Housing First San Diego. Thanks, sir. And also, uh, Councilmember Gloria and Mayor Paul. Hey, I'm Jason Weiss with Assembly Speaker Tony Atkins' office. The Speaker is in Paris at the Climate Change Talks, otherwise she would be here today because we know housing is uh, Speaker Atkins' first passion. But she sent with me a certificate of recognition. Uh, congratulations, San Diego Housing Commission, on your first year accomplishments. Thank you.